In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite tools when it comes to printing a book at home, when it comes to book binding. Everything from my favorite must-have printer and then three different methods going from the easiest, fastest, most quickest way to do this to the more slightly more challenging, a little bit more time consuming, but might give a better look. It's your choice, your opinion. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, house. Hi there, my name is Karen and welcome back to Our House. We love to talk about books here on this channel and we also not just read them, but like to print them and bind them ourselves. So if you have a novel you've written, some sort of fan fiction, or you're printing a book from the public domain, this video is for you. Now for each of these methods that I'm going to talk about, I have step-by-step -step video tutorials, so I will make sure to link them in a playlist up here somewhere and down in the description. So let's get started with number one, first, the printer. So now regardless of what method you choose, the number one must have is a good double-sided ink efficient printer. Now my favorite is the Epson 2760. Previously, I had the 2750. This is the upgraded model and I love it. I've had it for a few years now and I've only had to add ink to it one time. I use it for heavy personal usage and business usage. I print books on it and I've only had to fill it once in two years, more than two years. The ink is very cheap. It's $20 for a bottle of black ink that's supposed to last you two years. And then the uh, color cartridge, I think it's also between 20, 30 bucks and as well, it lasts forever. Now this printer is a little bit of an investment up front, but like I said, the printer will pay for itself in no time if you do a lot of printing because the ink is so affordable and it lasts forever. I've had other printers that were cheaper up front, but I spent a lot of money on ink cartridges. Now, again, this printer is double-sided, which if you want to use any of the methods that I'm going to show you in this video, you need a double-sided printer, one that can print both sides duplex style. Now, when it comes to price, you can find this on Amazon and I will link it down below, but I found a much better deal at my local Costco. So check it out and see if it's still available there first. All right, so now that we talked about the printer, let's talk about the different methods and supplies that you would need for each one. Now, the most simple basic method is just to print it duplex style, just front and back, three hole punch it and put it in a binder and you're done. That is the most affordable, quickest, easiest way. So I would say this is level one. All right, so now let's level up to comb binding and I recommend the Fellows, what's it called? The Fellows Star 150 comb binding machine. And you can use several different sizes for this machine. You could look at the capacity, but it does a great job of giving you a little bit more polished look. This is really great for business documents, but if you wanna print your books out this way too, very easy. Again, just print it duplex style, use the comb binder. You can put a sheet protector in the front and one of those black plastic pages in the back to give it a little bit of a more finished polished look. And there you go, you have your book. All right, so now a step above that, I think is the booklet format. This is where it looks like an actual book. It's that half size and it prints out in a way where if you were to fold it in half right in the middle of the printing job, you'd have perfectly ordered pages or if it's a really thick book, you can cut the pages and then use some of the tools that I'm gonna show you in the next step. But this level is the easiest one. This is best for booklets or shorter books and that is using a saddle stitch stapler. So you print it out, booklet format, and I have a video that shows you the step-by-step -step instructions on your printer settings, how to get it to print in this booklet format. So again, it prints it out perfectly. It's numbered in such a way that all you would have to do is just fold the entire print job in half and you're done. So if it's a small job like that, you can use one of these and you just slide the pages in. So this is right on the, the half, the spine of the book, staple it, maybe do it two, three times and you're done. And for the next level up, it's my favorite method. It's the booklet format with prong staples. So what I mean by that is you print it out booklet format. So it's in that half page. It's all printed out, perfectly ordered. But if it's a bigger book, you need to cut it down the middle in half and then assemble it together, bind the book. 
in my opinion, if you're going that route, which is, takes a little bit more time. However, easiest way to go about doing that is with a two hole prong hole puncher. So you would adjust your setting, making sure you have the appropriate margins. And again, I go over that in the printer setting. You just do a little two hole punch and then you simply add your two hole prong fastener. What I like to do is use book binding tape to cover the the prong fasteners and it gives it a little bit more of a finished polished look. That is my favorite way to bind a book that makes it look a little bit more professional, a little bit more of a level up than just, like I said, duplex printing it and putting it in a binder or stapling it. Like I mentioned already, I have step-by-step -step videos with each of these methods and I will link them down below and guide you along the way. Now, if you have any questions regarding this topic, I would really love to hear them. What questions do you have about printing and binding your own books at home? Let me know and it just might be featured as the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a friend who also likes to print books at home, please share this video with them. Now, I think you would really like this video but youtube's algorithm thinks you would like this video instead so whichever one you choose i will see you there bye for now